What up, what up, Wheatfield? What it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to the Wheatfield. Welcome to you, too. Spirits of the Most High God, come on in, come on in. Give it up to the Alpha and Omega. Yes. My creator. Yes, the beginning and the end. I'm so excited. Um, it gifted me the word. It called me by the word, the word, the principal thing. Mm -hmm. Intelligence, wisdom. Yes, it also gifted me with the breath of life, the holy life force, the life energy, the essence, the holy breath, the holy chi. Yes. And I be. We be. We're a creation. We are whole. We are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. Nothing broken and nothing missing. We are having a great rising and hopefully a wonderful ascension i think today is october the 9th 2023 i think it is yeah yeah see that's 17 and one and seven breaks down to eight i'm feeling something ethereal something from the eternal on this day i um yeah, definitely feel some energy. I got some updates and just some funny stuff from the weekend. Yesterday was real interesting. Yeah, it was. I'm going to share it with you too. We're going to chop it up. What y'all been up to, Wheatfield? How was y'all weekend? Leave me some comments. Let me know what y'all did. Was it fun? Was it exciting? Did you have some adventures? Did it just some shit happen and you want to talk about it? Whatever the case may be. Um, I got a comment from somebody asking about if their hands itch. I don't know what it is, but I know superstition says that if your hands are itching, you know, one palm means that you're going to get money and the other palm means that you might need to pay some money. So, um, it's relative to money either way, either money coming in or money going out, I say. Um, so... You may want to take a look at that for self and see how do you discern it. And, and uh, yeah, go for it. I'm going to pull the money cards. Yeah, I feel like we should just tap into the bread at the start of the week. Why not? You know, see what's going on with that. I also feel some um, angel energy, some light. See, you kind of take a peek. You know what I mean? And have the angels pray for us. What advice do they have for whatever it is that you are seeking? Um, uh... I got another story. Life is content, you know. Oh, yes. Uh, funny. If you meet somebody and they are, I told y'all, you might just meet somebody, right? And you're going to have to use your discernment. So using your discernment means you ask a few questions. Just a few, just a bit, right? See what it's coming from. Read the energy of it. had to get that set. This was an adventure too. I don't know if I'm going to tell it. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I'm sitting in a restaurant. It's an Italian restaurant that I had had my eye on for a minute. And my higher self says, little self, I said yes. They said, we want to go to this restaurant. I said, you sure? They said yes. I said, okay, well, I'm following suit. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. We go in there. We have a good time. Call my bestie, my little sissy. And she say, uh, yeah, I'll come over there and we'll have a little glass of wine, a little couple of apps, apps and wine. That's what we do. And I sat next to this interesting dude. He was kind of cool. Talked way too much, though. It was just like, dude, you see me and my sissy talking in every three seconds. You interrupting. Can you be quiet and just let us just have a little combo, which what we came in here for? Because we don't know you. I done seen his family crest. All six of them. So y'all know what that was about. Mr. Stockbroker, guitar player, mover and shaker, from Italiano, Venice, Bellissimo, okay? Then get again, six family crests, okay? So you know what that was about, Ashe. My sissy and I, we over here like, is he going to shut up any time today? Probably not. 
The next one come in. You know, I don't judge no books by a cup. I just don't. You in the restaurant, you doing you. You getting your food, you ordering. You must be, you know, at least able to, you know, pay the tab for being up in here. You doing your thing. It ain't no nothing to it. Because, again, I don't judge a book by a cover. I just don't. It's all kind of hidden surprises, depending on the book, you know. What's the content? Not the cover. So he goes into, I do this for a living. And, you know, my position is, is I just want peace and companionship. I come home from work. You can have all the money. I just need a leg rub. I said, really? Because, see, I, I, I really don't care about your money. What do you give outside of money? He looked at me with these smoldering brown eyes and said anthropology I said ninja please I said anthropology you mean the study and culture of other peoples how do you give that in a relationship I said, oh, that's interesting. Hopefully you met something quality this weekend week. Be it them or mass, doesn't matter. Here's your girl. Not so much. I'm just saying. We had a good time, though. It was definitely an adventure. We was out. We was out in the atmosphere. We might have been around somebody that we might meet later. We don't know. Because we made a couple of stops and we did a couple of things. And, you know, we frequent a couple of places. And we'll, know, we'll see what happens from here on out. But it's just a point. When they start passing out anthropology, is that something that you can give somebody? I didn't think it was. I mean, I studied it before because like you, you hear your girl say it all the time. I like to study theology. I like to see how the Most High God has spoken to the wheat all over the plain, right? And if you study different cultures and understand how these different people live in their area, in their environment, that's, that's anthropology. That's all it is. How do you give that to somebody in a relationship? I felt like he was just saying, oh, you know what I'm saying. I can make my own assertions and 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 judgments, but we shall not. We shall not. We just knew that that was a disqualifier for us. <laughs> it was like mm, you probably not giving too much. If only thing you giving is a study of other people, yeah, that's pretty much not transformation. We had to get the fuck on up out of there. We did. It transformed it from an opportunity to a not opportunity from a beginning to a straight ending. That's what it was on that. I'm just saying. Thank you, Zach Kiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Maybe that's where this person was at. I don't know. I'm not pulling energy on him specifically because I don't know him and I don't have his permission week. But I'm just saying. We definitely are in a transformation from an ending to a new beginning. And then if you are in that same space, you're going to have to do some, you know, you're going to run into some stuff. Why, again, 99% of these mofos is not going to be for you. I wouldn't care what side of the fence you own, beloved. My fems, my masculines, all of that. 99% of the people you run across, they ain't going to be your person. They not. It's, it's going to be an instant something that lets you know right at the get. This ain't going to work, beloved. It's not. It's just not. Nope. I don't want to see your family crest 17 times. Having to pronounce every word and let me know that you speak 17 languages. Which is interesting. I mean, that's pretty cool. Because I, I, I value education. I do. I like a smart person. Like, that's one of the things. It's not necessary. Because, see, if you're smart and you're intelligent and you allow that, into, I, I value wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. But is it wise 
to show me your family crest 17 times and keep interrupting my conversation when you see I'm sitting here with my sissy. No, it's not. It's rude. And it's egocentric. And everything you talk about. And then he started dibbling into territories that you just don't talk to people about. On, on, it literally told me. I ain't gonna do it too much, y'all. I'm just saying. Anywho. My crystal. Thank you so much to Aya Tarot and uh, Aya's Inspired Wired Inspired. Inspired Wired. I'm going to tag it and so that y'all can purchase if y'all like. I'm getting a ring too. She just made me a ring. So beautiful. He told me, you shouldn't have that. It houses spirits. I said, Lord have mercy. Lord. I said, really, because the God I serve made all things. Study and learn. Study and learn. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Yeah. Learning, neither one of them jokers was for me, I say. Ha! Learning fast, learning quick, fail fast, fail often. That's the thing. Everybody be rushing off to success, but success comes after a series of failure. And oftentimes, it's that one hit, is that one, one. You know how they be having the computers uh, just uh, run modules and tests, and it be like you finally get that one test. It's done, went through this test a bazillion times, and each one of them failed until you hit that one. That's the thing to think about. But see, we often think as humans that we're supposed to just be like, it's a success because you no. No, it's through trial and error and learning, learning over, over you know, iteration upon iteration upon iteration upon iteration, getting better and better and better every day, better at discerning, being able to be like, yeah, I can see what that is. No. And that's the whole statement. Here was the other pickup line. Can you call my phone? It's in your pocket, though. Why would I need to call your phone? Uh-huh. Oh, is that how you do that? Is that the new pickup line? Yeah, yeah, it is. Did it work? Mm-mm. Just saying. Live your joy. Live joy. It was fun, though. We had a good time. It was some good wine and some good appetizers and good bread. I love when you do the uh, the oil blend, the olive oil with the herbs and all that stuff in there. And they cut up fresh garlic. Fresh garlic. It was so good. I should have brought my gum up in there, though. I should have brought... Yeah, I ain't going to say that. Anywho, we, we, we should have brought our gum because that fresh garlic is strong. But it was so good and it was so tasty. I had... Uh, Shrimp scampi with lemon sauce and linguine, or no, not linguine, angel hair with uh, capers. Lemon butter sauce. It was so good. Express your creativity. It's here. And that's what I took it to as another opportunity to express, to just to be out to be in the atmosphere, you know, put my energy out, and it was good. Oh, spirit had me dressed like a youngster, and I'm not talking about just young, like teeny bopper yet kind of, because my I showed y'all my socks, but it was fun though. It was really fun, and I had a good time. Good energy, good good energy. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. Yes, life is constant, beloved Gaia. We are connected to the Mother Spirit, Divine Masculine. It's here. Sacral Chakra speaks to creativity, the frequency, and that goes right along with the express creativity, right? The frequency of the Sacral Chakra, the orange flower of life, supports our ability to flow with our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives. Yes, yes. Success, we have to learn. We got to study and do something new, right? We have to be able and willing to transform. Again, that connection to Mother Earth. Connection, staying grounded, staying rooted, staying humble, beloved. This, you want one of these? Crown Chakra. 
Hey, I love it. Ooh, this card always does something to me. It's so many points and pieces within the whole that just is like, wow. Um, not only do I see the mind, the brain that's up here. I see two hemispheres always. I see the geometric shapes and the connecting points. They almost look like neural pathways, like the connection, the energy highway or information highway that's running through our body. Now, those signals that just like transfer all this data, light energy that is flowing through all of these pathways. I always think about the synapses and how it's a gap, right? From one neural ending to another, there's a little bitty space there and the light travels across the gap. It is, it's something in that that I'm feeling. I'm feeling um, quite a few things in that. I feel our light moving from one space to another space. Like when we transform and I'm feeling like uh, when we have a death and our light moves from one space to another space, right? From one line. If you're anybody is into string theory, I feel that like the strings, if you can think about the neural pathway as string theory and dimensions and interdimensions, um, then I can, I feel that light travel along those strings and how we can jump from one to another. I'm feeling quantum leap at the same time. So that's, you know, your girl. I see the word everywhere. I see the most high God written and everything. So when I see this, I see the light is at one point, but I feel like it travels along these points, along all of these pathways that light can travel. And it's a multitude of different ways that we can travel, a multitude of pathways that we can get. And no matter where we go or how we're traveling, we're still held within the crown chakra. Like, it's like creation is whole and it's complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. It's all there. There's nothing broken. There's nothing missing. It's interconnected. It's interwoven. But yet, it is still all held within the whole, right? It is, and the Most High God is outside of all of this. Is what I feel. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connectedness or connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. Transform and transmute negative energy into light. Look at this, beloved. That alchemist. I feel like that cauldron has all types of energy and he's transforming it into light. Thank you. Yeah. Support transform my past challenges. Transforming that negative energy. Any past challenges. Transforming it into light. Just let that sit with you for a minute. Light seer. 1822 on the phone. 1823. We're going to put this over here. The most high God says, y'all, we're going to have to chop it up. Do a chop it up session where we clear out some of these decks of cards on the table and uh, really make some more space and some more room because we are covered, beloved. When I say the table is full and we need to make room, make space for new messages, new blessings, that's the whole thing. Yeah, King of Swords energy is here. Um, I heard King of Swords energy. I heard crazy, deranged. This person looked like they done been through it too. But I don't know. Ending cycle. Somebody is either transforming. Is this person angry? No, he looked like he been through it though. But I definitely see this wise owl that's sitting here. You see the owl. I don't know if this is better. Yeah. That owl, of course, is wisdom. You know, it's intellect, intuition, the principal thing. I see the raven, which is a spiritual bird. I see 
um, this bat back here is kind of feel like that's negative past energy and the way that the bat is moving it's almost like it's far off but it's still kind of trailing like so maybe he needs to transmute some negative energy to move into this new cycle that's my neighbor he likes to mow his yard this time of day and why it's right now in the middle of the message who knows Ashe? it could be some other negative energies that don't want this out or it could just be divine synchronization and this is when he decided to come out either way we're gonna have a sip of coffee speaking of on the menu drive through at Tim Hortons it said they have a drink called French vanilla French vanilla what beloved is it a French vanilla latte is it a French vanilla cappuccino? Is it a French vanilla espresso? What is it? So I like to order a French van or a French vanilla cappuccino, but I like it half cappuccino, half dark roast coffee. Because to me, cappuccinos at the machine is just way too sweet. It's too sweet. And they're not strong enough in terms of coffee. It's more milk product powdery with sugar than more coffee. So I like it half and half. I order it like that at least two times in the past, and one of it is very recent. So I said, I know this could be my part that was a little bit off, but I want a mocha cappuccino half with dark roast coffee. They said, what? We don't sell that. I said, how you don't sell it when I've been bad? I have bought it two times since I've been here. You want to... You want a uh, espresso? You want a latte? No, I said a cappuccino. You guys got a cappuccino machine in there, don't you? Well, yeah, but but what? Give me a freaking cappuccino. I want a mocha. Do you got? You want a hot chocolate? Did I say hot chocolate? Because I think cappuccino sounds very different than hot chocolate. Hot chocolate don't even sound like mocha. It's chocolate. But mocha don't sound like hot chocolate. I was confused. I was getting angry. I was getting pissed. What the hell is wrong with y'all folks? Oh, well, that's a French vanilla. Okay, so you didn't, didn't, whatever. Okay. I'm saying a cappuccino. I want to have cappuccino and have dark roast coffee and give me a bag of coffee while, while you're at it because I don't want to come back here right now y'all done made me upset and fix your menu fix your sign don't nobody know what that is a french vanilla like it don't like like french vanilla is not a flavor instead of just a type of coffee beverage because coffee comes in how many different types and varieties again count them cappuccino latte espresso i mean just regular drip fuck i'm sorry y'all i'm just no i'm not i was pissed and you acting like me like i'm crazy what look anywho queen of cups in reverse it's a challenge queen of cups is challenged to a queen of swords, king of swords, and a cycle ending. You want this? Magician. Ooh, snap. Is somebody doing some spell work? Is this queen of cups challenge trying to manifest this king of swords into their life and start a new cycle? Could be. Why would Queen of Cups be trying to manifest somebody? You're supposed to allow them to come into your life. Yeah, she's not allowing. She may be pouring too much energy into somebody that ain't pouring no energy into her. See, he's in his head, not in his heart. And she's in her heart. This and not in her head. Yeah, Seven of Wands. He done blocked her out. Mm-hmm. He done blocked her. He probably done ghost and everything. Yeah. He done ghost. And she trying to uh, manifest this person. Now take it, flip it, flop it, which way it go. 
you know, energies is interchangeable. But it's definitely causing some heartache and some issues, some drama, some confusion. You know, maybe this person is going through some drama. You know, maybe they got problems and maybe they don't want to bring anybody into their life. Maybe they're not. Yeah, eight of wands. It's some energy motion going forward. This person is probably work blocking out people so that they can transmute the negative energy from their past cycle. We see four of pentacles here. Is it upside down? Okay. See, this queen of wands, I mean queen of cups needs to pull it back. You know, this person is um, attempting to cause somebody into their life and manifest um, somebody this that's not ready to be manifested and it's a block up it's a defense like i'm saying this is being blocked this person is real defensive right now they have some things going on in their life where they are not ready to commune judgment i feel like they are choosing to ghost they are choosing to block somebody out you may be a very loving person and you are challenged with love, I feel, right now. And finding somebody that you can pour your love and your heart into. You are working to manifest somebody and bring them into your life. Like, what can you do to do that? And it could be entailing, you know, a little bit of trickery, a little bit of fuckery. Not necessarily in a really, really bad way. But you may be trying to do things to entice or sway a person to come into your life or to participate in life or enter into a freaking relationship i feel and they don't want to they're in their head about it they're not in their heart right and they are blocking you they are ghosting you this person has issues they have some drama they have some stuff that's going on some problems they may be overwhelmed with a couple of things um that, that they just have hanging over their head and they need to close out this cycle of negativity to transform um, or they are transforming from the challenges of the past, either way. But I see judgment, them rising up, choosing to rise themselves, raise themselves up, choosing to block this connection, choosing to, you know, stay defensive from any type of communication or energy that you are sending towards them. They don't want to be in this right now. I think they are choosing to work on themselves or clear some things up, clear up the energy of the last cycle before they get into anything, which is good. Yeah. I feel like this person, mm, maybe you watching them. Maybe you're trying to learn something. Maybe study and learn. We saw it come out too. I think that's this one. Study and learning. You know, you could be. Maybe you are learning that this person doesn't want to be in a relationship and, it's, and you are steady going harder in terms of trying to manifest them in. And you don't need to chase, beloved. You just don't. You don't need to chase. It'll come into you in its divine timing. I feel something. It'll come into you. The right connection will come into you. And you won't need to go through all of that extra. Yeah, King of Pentacles is here. This person is probably focused on getting their bread. Like I said, they may have money issues. They may have other issues that's going on. This person is focused on getting their bread up, recovering from whatever happened in the past. Yeah, Knight of Cups. See, this person is blocking love offers, I feel. He may even want to give a love offer eventually, but not right now because right now he's focused on the money. That's what he's giving it to. He's held up and delayed. He's held up. Or he's going to hold this connection up. And so that he can get his problems resolved. Which is the money. And whatever issues and drama that is from the last cycle. Because he went through some stuff. And coming out, he has to recover. And he needs to do that before he will give an offer. Until then, like I said. So he can be prepared to give an offer. He may have some inspiration 
He may be inspired by you. He may have some intuition. But right now, he's not in a loving space. He's holding back. He may see that you could be wish fulfillment. Or maybe you just feel like he's wish fulfillment. You may feel like this person is guided by the star. Like, you may have some energy, like some knowingness or an awareness that you think that this person is wish fulfillment. Or maybe you feel like he is your wish fulfillment, right? And not really realizing where this person is at in their own mental state. Like, the things that they have going on. You know, you may be in a good state and this person is just not. Eight of Swords. Like I said, their own mental state and what they have going on. They are wrapped up in their own head and their own mind. Queen of Pentacles. See, you already got your money up. You do. You are a loving person. You already got your money up. See, Seven of Swords to the Nine of Swords. You don't know what this person is going through. What you will actually be getting with the Six of Pentacles to the devil energy that's toxic. You may not want to invest in this person just yet. You know, I don't know. Maybe you want to invest with them because you see them in such a way. Maybe you think that this person is sexy. They look good. You lust after them. But I think the spirit, the star is trying to tell you that that will bring a tower to your life. It will bring a tower to your life. That's why... Even this person is trying to say energetically that they don't want to bring these issues into your life. They don't want to bring these problems into your life. They brought they burden. They got a lot going on. Partnership here. They don't want to bring this into your life. They are rejecting this partnership, pushing the energy of a partnership back, saying, no, I don't want that. It could be, again, like I said, a past relationship. Um, yeah, this is something new that you're looking towards. We, and it's not a good connection. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords truth. I hear, walk on by. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Walk on. Use your discernment and your logic to walk on by. You might feel a certain kind of way. Like, oh man, like I really like this person and I really wanted to make it work. But Spirit is saying, no, don't do that. This is not your Ten of Cups. And if it is, it's not right now. I just feel like it's not. Anything else in here? No. Page of Cups and Three of Cups. Yeah. I don't feel like you're going to get what you want out of this connection. I see Ten of Swords here. I don't feel like you're going to get what you want out of this connection. Got to tell you the vibes, we Got to tell you the vibes. Seven of Cups. This person might have several options or you may just have be confused. You know, or it could just be wishful thinking. You know, wishful thinking. You know, you may daydream about this person. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, we could be what we should be and all of this. What it should have, could have. Um, if we could, if we could, if you just kind of energy and spirit is saying, let it go, you know, let that go. Cause it, it, it really, this person is just not in the right space for a relationship. They're not, they got too much going on from the last cycle that they were, um, that they just came out of. Whether it's financial problems, whether it's baby mama drama, whether it's all kind of stuff, you know, they got going on. And this person is tied up, not only tied up in their bread, but in their head at the same time. And they not looking for nothing serious. They not. You guys could be getting it in. It could be sexual, but that's about all it is. Look, I see Ace of Swords truth here again. Spirit flipped it upside down. And the Two of Swords decision. See the truth and make the right decision. Don't see what you want to see. See what it is. You know, it might, you may be weighing the options or just avoiding making the choice, you know. But Spirit says, see what it is. See the truth and make the right choice for yourself. The sun is in reverse. Yeah, you're not going to like it. 
but you know it is something going on because your queen of cups is in the challenge which means to me you pouring out the energy and your love and your uh emotion to the wrong place right you are probably trying to force this person to feel a certain kind of way and you could potentially end up being overbearing you could be too pushy you know knight of swords and they're gonna do nothing but make this person upset and they're gonna pull away from you you could be thinking too fast yeah to the strength knight of swords and strength it ain't gonna do nothing but make them upset and you probably you could possibly just be pretty much coming on too strong coming on too strong you know again with that magician I feel like you coming on too strong in the four cups. You know, you know what I mean? You might not be accepting anything else. I feel like you could be daydreaming and just really thinking about this person all the time. And that's where your energy is at. You know, nine of cups, four of cups. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. We see Leo here. We see air signs. We see uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Who else I got? Um, yeah, it's a lot of... Uh, it's a little bit of earth here, too. Could be a Taurus. Um, I don't know. Anything else? Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles. We saw King of Pentacles. This person is hard at work recovering. We see Nine of Swords again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is very anxious somebody is upset like worried fear and that comes off as desperate it comes off as thirsty right they don't want somebody that is chasing after them they want to be the chaser or not even just the chaser but allow the energies to come together the way that they need to right if it's supposed to come together it will come together you don't have to push it you don't have to force it you don't have to be you know overbearing or just in a person face and texting and hey what's up just thought about you no you don't have to do all that fall back fall back fall back three of swords i feel like three of swords ace of cups you got this beautiful big heart and you loving and kind and you want to give it to somebody but that shit is toxic this person is not ready it's something about that seven of swords this person is still going through some stuff it's it's it, you know they're not ready to commit they're just not and if they even tell you that they're gonna commit it's gonna be a lie because they're not ready they're probably gonna say just something to either uh appease you or they're gonna ghost you and i saw seven of wands like this person may be defensive they may be blocking you out and this is why because they probably feel like you're pushing too hard emperor eight of wands the emperor could be highly controlling right they could be you know very uh authoritative but i feel like if you just hold on and pull yourself back you know, they understand your energies. Like, understand that you, to be confident and self-assured in yourself, that Queen of Wands energy. Pouring into yourself what you want to pour into somebody else. A, a, a balanced Queen of Cups. Using your discernment with the Queen of Wands, right? You will pull all these. You're already Queen of Pentacles because you got your money together. So, that makes you Empress energy. Empress ready, right? And then you see your Emperor. The true match will come through. Eight of Wands. What well, true match will come through. That energy will move it in. And that is the hidden secret. Again, Queen of Swords energy. Use your logic and your intellect to protect yourself. Is this energy right for you? No, it's not. But you got a feeling about it. You may be worried and anxious. Is the real thing going to come in? When is it going to come in? When is it going to happen? And you think that this is your person, but it's not. It's not. It's not. Like I said, fall back. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. 3908 on the phone. Fall back, beloved. Yeah, your greatest challenges are your biggest blessings. Don't give up before the magic happens. You leveling up. You leveling up. So don't give up and settle on this energy because you think that's what it is. It's not. And all the signs are probably pointing to it's not. But maybe you think it is and you kind of got yourself, you know, convinced yourself that it is and everything is saying that it's not.
sometimes we can call stuff into our lives and bring the tower to ourselves right here because we have convinced ourselves that that's the thing. Endings always come with new beginnings. I can't make it up. You end this right here, there will be a new beginning. And maybe the universe is waiting for you to balance out your own energy before it brings you in what you're supposed to have. That's why we need to chop it up, y'all. We got too much ish going on. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Rest on this. Fall back, beloved. You want to read that? You make known to me the path of life. Psalm sixteen eleven. Go to the Most High God and pray and ask for revelation. It will make known to you the path and which way you're, you should go. And I think maybe the Most High God has been showing you and telling you. But if this resonates with you, do a little bit more meditation. Go in and just let your spirit speak to you. And move how they tell you to move. It's all for educational purposes. I can't tell you what fuck shit to do. You got to make that choice for yourself. We Lead by example. Don't react to others have treated you. Choose who you want to be in your world will transform. We see transformation again. Your world will transform. This person is transforming negative energy. And maybe you need to do something too from your past cycle. What is going on with you? What's plaguing you? Lead by example. You don't have to react to everything. You know, especially to how others have treated you. You know, you know choose to be who you want to be. And your world will transform. You are enough. You always have been. And you always will be. Release attachments to relationships and achievements to feel worthy. Release attachments to this relationship and any other achievements because we feel money cards to feel worthy. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Time for an adventure. Turn waiting into living. Be spontaneous and try new things. If not now, then when? When? Try some new stuff. Let it go. We see leadership right at the top. Control right here. I said controlling when I felt that first emperor card. Yeah. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form that you wanted to. Sometimes your blessings will come in disguise. Stay open-minded to see the potential. Sometimes it's rejection for your protection. You never know what you're stepping into. We, this person may have just come out of something and they're recovering. It could be any type of emotional trauma mental trauma scarring on their heart that needs to be healed you don't want them seeing you through the lens of the last person you just don't you want them to see you as your whole wheat self your whole loving self because you're a queen of cups energy but again one of the parts of an unbalanced queen of cups or in a queen of cups and a challenge is that she pours her energy and love and caring on others instead of into self Allow your cup to overflow by pouring into you, and you will attract that same love that you give onto you. Work hard in silence. That's what this person is doing. I feel both of y'all need to do it. This person is definitely working hard, but you need to work hard in silence too. That's probably, again, why they ghosting. They working on themselves. Luck is here. You may feel like this person is, again, outlook. You got an outlook. You feel like this is your person, but it's not. And I feel like if you just let it go, you will see that the luck, the trajectory will change. You pour that energy into self, and it will come back into you. It will be the correct giving and receiving instead of you giving out toxic attachments. And then they become a toxic attachment. Loss, again. This will end up in a tower. Spirit saying this is not the connection for you. Anything else in here, beloved? No. 
split right back on leadership. Don't take your crown off for nobody. Don't. This one. As we're closing out. Okay. Angel message. Angel messages. We started with it and we're going to end with it. The Most High God is speaking to you though. Especially with this crown chakra. It's speaking to you. Rest. Rest on it. Fall back. Meditate. Allow the Most High God to show you the pathway. Which way to go. I feel like it's going to tell you to step into that Queen of Swords energy. And just, you know, use your logic and your discernment. And judge it righteously. You know, look at it for what it really, really is. You know, not for what you want to see with your heart. But look at it and see. What is it? What's happening? What is the it terrain really like? If this person is not pouring into you the way that you pour into them, then it's not worth it. And you definitely don't need to use no type of manipulation to get them. You just don't. You don't have to do the, oh, cute, or I was just in the neighborhood, or I just stopped by, or, oh, hey, stranger, what's up with you? No, you don't have to do none of that. Mm -mm. Because, see, a person that wants to be with you, if they're interested, they will make time for thee. They will call. They will text. They will fit you in. Their schedule is never too fucking busy. Never. To be with a person that they are interested in. They will always make time. They will always find a way. Always. Divine timing is always spot on. Surrender control. Again, control. Surrender control and take a break. Anything else, beloved? No. I say create. Look at this Empress energy. What did I say? That's Empress energy. She sits there and she allows everything to fall in. She knows that she can create from the inside out. But that's with a positive energy. That's not coming from Nine of Swords where you have anxiety, worry, fear, or depression, hopelessness, or despair, feeling desperate, don't know. Because see what you will create and what you will birth is this right here. Destruction. Bringing a tower to your life. Because you didn't read the sign. Anything else you said? No. Know that you are safe. You are safe. And you are loved. You are. And maybe you don't feel the love because you need to do more loving on you. Loving on yourself. Yeah. You're ready to fall in love and to be in love. But to fall in love with you first is a whole thing. To love on you. Yep. That's amazing. Is there anything else you would like to say, beloved? Yes. All right. Intuition is here. Right off the top. Yes. This is my your divinity. Get in touch with you. I know my true identity. May I always remember my true identity. Unlimited light and love. Let me know myself as pure consciousness. Wake me from the sleepwalk of believing I'm only human. And God finds a way. The most I got. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't care if you ever got out and did. You want this one? This one? This. Attachment. Judgments. Say release negative attachments. Attachments to this relationship. Where it go? Thought we saw it. It's one of these cards. I don't put it up somewhere. It's down in here. Maybe we'll see it if we wrap it up. Anywho. No, it's not that one either. You remember it. If you made it this far. I click a couple of backs. Till we was working through this here blue deck. And you will see it. It's right here. Thank you, beloved. Yes. I release all attachments. I release, 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 release attachments. You are enough. You always have been. You will all will you always will be. You are enough. You always have been and you always will be. Release attachments to relationships and achievements to feel worthy. 
Because, see, you might be attached to something that's making you feel unworthy. Why they don't love me when I'm a loving person? Yes, you are a loving person, but that don't mean that you for everyone, beloved. 99% of these folks out here ain't going to be for you. They just not. Your divine match is that one percenter. That's that rarity. And you're going to have to say no to a whole bunch of shit before you get there. And show that you are ready to receive it. That you are secure in yourself. You know how to love on you first. You have your discernment. You have your queen of wands. You're confident and sure in you. And you got your bread made up. I mean, like, that's Empress energy. You a queen, beloved. But you got to master some of these other attributes to really harness that queen energy. Queens don't chase. Oh, no, we. Oh no. Huh. I release all attachments. Change me, divine beloved, into one who trusts that the perfect relationship always arrives on time. Let me feel worthy and deserving of love. My devil did just say it. You are enough. You always have been and you always will be release attachments to relationships and achievements to feel worthy. One more again, change me, divine beloved, into one who trusts that the perfect relationship always arrives on time. Let me feel worthy and deserving of love. And how do you deserve to feel deserving of love? By pouring into self. Knowing that what you feel like you want from another person poured into you first and foremost self edification beloved edify yourself the same way that you have desire to edify this other person and to pour into them pour that into you feel your cup first Woo! anything else I was gonna get the money cards back out. Spirit says, no, are we done? We are through. I love you. 5144 on the phone. Six and eight. You will receive what the eternal has for you when you give it to yourself eternally. Internally. Got it? I love you. I love you so much. I love you just like I love me. Why? Because we creation, beloved. We are whole. We are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. All of these light energies traveling on these different lines and different strings. Hmm. It's going to take a minute. But can, trust me. In divine timing, you're going to bump into that perfect thing. It's going to be brought to you. <laughs> Most I God told me to stop. I have a tendency to rhyme, we speak in poems. So the most I God said is going to happen in perfect and divine timing perfect and divine timing it's gonna happen no need to force it beloved you just you just don't it won't be brought into the again i had a thought like even if you don't get out it could be the ups guy it could be the person that delivered that amazon package that happens to just come to your house and you go to go water the grass and up here comes the amazon guy you never know how it's going to happen. You just don't know. Allow the universe and the creativity of it, the intelligence, the most high God, its plan will work out. And it's already syncopated. And you could be holding yourself up from getting there by being fixated on something that's just not to be. And I believe and I'm being told that there are signs that this just isn't it. But it's something inside, beloved, that's keeping you attached to it. Yes. Again, loving you like I love me because I love the Alpha and Omega that created me. Who be back, beloved? Yes. And
delivered a message that's good for me and for thee. Again, self-edifying. We ain't gonna feed you shit we wouldn't eat. No. Mm. You definitely won't. Don't want nobody to come to you talking about something they're giving you. Anthropology. <laughs> Maybe they're on an anthropology excursion and that's why they're not answering the fuck out of here with that weed. <laughs> right? Just saying. To the next now, y'all. This one's done. I should.